Hey everyone, so this is going to be a very small screencast where I show you how you can um, access data sets from a website called QANDL.com, which is like a website where you have data sets for, well, various things. Like, um, so if you go to QANDL.com, you'll see this page where it has, as you can see, it says that it, it, it searches over six Engitant Viva 6 financial, economic, and social data sets. Just to take a glimpse of what all you have. Um, so you have markets, um, data about the markets, economics, I'm sorry, I clicked that, okay. So that's uh, markets, economic, stock, society, and various other subjects. Um, uh, in this screencast, as a introduction to what you can do as a, um, just a glimpse of what can be done and what kind of data that they have up on their website, um, I'm going to take the GDP, which is the gross domestic product of US, which you can find by going to the economics tab, um, going to US economy, and if you scroll down, you'll find GDP here. Uh, just in case it's hard to follow for you, just go to the direct URL from here. Um, okay, sorry, yeah, that's the page. So as you can see, it shows you a graph automatically on your on the website. It shows the GDP starting from somewhere around 19, early 1990s to 2013, which is the current year. And, uh, and the numerical values as well here. So it has been updated up to the first of January yeah so that's the date up to which you have the data tail and the retrieving source is the Federal Reserve Economic Data and other things which you may want to know uh, this is uh, but what you're going to take a look at here is how you can download this numerical data and um, plot it in Microsoft Excel so if you see the download button here if you click on it you will get various options like you have Excel, CSV, JSON and XML. So like I said, we are going to take a look at how we can access the data in Microsoft Excel. So just, all, it's already clicked for you just in case if it is not, just click on it and select download data. It will start a uh, download of the file which is a .csv file. As you can see, I already have a few downloaded so I'll just open it. I'm using Microsoft Excel 20. 13 by the way I think yeah that's 2013 anyway so it, it should be similar on 2010 as well I think so that's your data so as you can see you have the various dates and the corresponding numerical values um, so let's let's just create a simple plot out of these so as you know so I'm just going to select the data um, there are about well So the data is selected. I'm going to go to the insert tab and then I'm just going to click on charts. So what I'm going to do is just create a scatter plot. So I just click on it and here we go. I'm just going to enlarge the plot a bit. So as you can see, you have the years on the x-axis and of course the GDP values on the y-axis. And so this this is a very easy way to I'm just going to drag it visualize the trend. So it does seem like the GDP has been has been growing fairly consistently for the U.S. Um, well, I think um, that that's all I had to show you in this screencast. Of course, there are various other things that you can explore. Like um, there are various data sets that you can explore. Uh, and um, I'm sure there are a lot of interesting things that, that can be done, and I might take a look at a few of those in a future in a future in a future in screencast. Sorry about that. Um, so that's the website qandl.com, and um, hope you find it interesting and get to try it. Um, in case you're not into Microsoft Excel, um, they have libraries for various other programming languages. Uh, for example, Python, Stata, 
um, R, Maple, and more. Um, I might take a look at a few of those as well at some time in the future. Um, hope you enjoyed the screencast.